on everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Ace Thinker's free online screen recording program. With Ace Thinker, you can record audio as well as your video to create the perfect screen recording with this online screen recorder. As well as this, you can record video and audio from your webcam. Furthermore, you can include or exclude the system sounds, configure the audio input options to use the audio from the system or via an external mic. All of these things allow you to create any type of screen recording, including tutorial videos, gameplay, and even record your online conferences. Let's begin. So when you click on start recording, you'll need to download the launcher first. So we'll just download it now. And then we can open the file as admin. And we'll just install. Now it will launch. So now we have multiple options. On the left we have the recording area, which is our screen resolution. We have the speaker, which is like system sound, and we also have microphone support. Or if you have a webcam, we also have camera support. Now to record, we simply have to press rec on the right. So now let's start recording. So we have a three second countdown. And then on the bottom right, we have the ability to suspend or stop the recording. And it will tell you how much data is being used as well and the time elapsed. So in this case, we're going to look at a Windows XP visualizer, as you can see from one of my previous videos. So now we're going to stop the recording. And it'll take a few moments to save. So as you can see, it's now been saved. So if we want to open it, we could simply go into settings and it shows you where it's saved. So we can just double click and it will open up the movie player. As you can see, we have our screen recording over here. So that was a demonstration of the Ace Thinker online screen recording program. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I will mention that this is compatible with all types of web browsers, such as Microsoft Edge as shown in this video, Firefox, and Google Chrome. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.